Here we have a fine scale trigger fish down on La Jolla shores in San Diego. And you can find these type of fish all over the world in warmer waters and their natural habitat is the coral reef. These creatures are mostly brown but as you can see they do have some white spots to them to help them blend in with the coral better. And they also have some blue specks all over their body so when they're away from the coral they blend in with the seawater more. So it depends which angle and like what habitat you see them from depending what color or what color they look like. They have very bright blue eyes to help them see in the water better because they do have very good vision. And they can stay really still so that their predators known as sharks and jacks and other fish don't think that they're a fish and think they're a part of the coral reefs. And they have a very small compressed flat body to help them weave through the corals more to hide from their larger predators. As you can see in this next clip, this is a trigger fish weaving through the corals more, fitting in tight places more easy because it's so compressed. And here we have a fine scale trigger fish actually looking for some food. And they do uh, eat on crabs, sea urchins, and shrimp. You'll see them mostly eating sea urchins but they do have or eat sand bottom food so it's kind of hard for them but they try to use their bodies as best as they can to shrivel away the sand to see if there's any food under there. They can also squirt water from their mouths right here to move the sand better and they usually use this mechanism the most because it's the most efficient but yeah it's kind of hard for them because they don't have any hands they just have fins so they try to move it the best way they can but this one's not having any luck so it will go find food in a new hunting ground. Right here, this fish did actually find a sea urchin, and they're f they have very sh uh, they have a very strong jaw and very sharp teeth because their prey are more shell foods, have hard shells on them, so it's kind of hard for them to crack into them. But that's why they have their strong jaw and large teeth. But yeah. They try to move the sea urchin as best as they can without getting poked by the spikes and they just kind of flip them over on their stomachs and after they achieve that they just eat the meat from their bellies. And it doesn't really take that long as you can see, kind of did it quickly. And right here we have the fine scale trigger fish actually trying to find a territorial spot to lay its eggs and the males do find the spot to lay the eggs. They like to put the nest on sea bottom floor where there's soft sand, not really any rocks, away from people. But yeah, they do find a lot of mates a year, try to lay as many eggs as they can. And they're very territorial for their nest and their food and they will fight anything or anyone that comes near it, even their own species. And right here we do have a trigger fish laying or digging its own nest. And they do use the same mechanisms as when they're finding food. So the water from their mouth works really well or they use their head or their whole body to try to dig the hole deeper and wider so they can lay more eggs and more deeper so that their predators don't get to them as easily. And they try to find a place away from more people because like they're very aggressive so if you do get in their way they will bite you and their bite does hurt it takes up to three to four weeks to heal and can chop off a human finger but yeah as you can see in this video these divers got in the trigger fish's way and it really just came after them and it almost did again but it got it so don't mess with the nest okay don't mess with the nest and here we have a school of trigger fish with eye which I think is really cool because they are a more solitary species. They're not very social, so you don't find them in packs as much. Because like I said, they do fight their own species. So I just thought this was a very cool, pretty rare sighting that I would show you. And yeah, thank you for listening on the Fine Scale Triggerfish.